Hello guys, it's Copes here, and today I am back with a Clash Royale video, and in today's video, I am not actually going to be using my typical battle deck. I have, what what what, what do I have? The Dark Prince, the regular Prince, Hog Rider, Minion Horde, Spear Goblins, um, Skeletons, Barbs, and um, what else? Um, arrows. So yeah, it's... I have like my typical common cards that I usually use, the arrows, goblin or spear goblins, skeletons, minion hordes, and barbs. That's what I just like to use. And I changed up from having my giant witch um, baby dragon to actually a hog rider prince dark prince. It works out pretty well. I'm not going to be using it all the time, but maybe here and there just to kind of switch it up and try to have a little fun in this. I did try to use an all epic um, card deck, whatever you want to call it. Did not work out at all. I actually didn't win one battle, so I did not decide. I was going to try to make a video for it, but may I... Maybe I will, but I'll have to drop down a lot of trophies to do that. Just because people up here, they don't mess around. And they will destroy me if I try anything anything kind of remotely strange. I mean, really. Like, it's so hard to use that battle battle deck and actually um, get a win off. And I haven't, I, I really haven't even done it yet. Um, because whenever I drop something with the epic cards, I usually have no elixir after that to stop a counterattack. During this battle, I was just like, okay, I might just give up because this guy had a bomb tower. And really, if you were trying to piss me off, just use a bomb tower. I hate when people use bomb towers. I really wish it wasn't in the game. Um, one other thing I hate about it, when I put my Tesla right in the middle, um, none of my, or none of the enemy troops seem to go for it. But whenever someone's using a bomb tower, it can be right next to the left side um, building or like very close to it. And my troops will go to um, that left side bomb tower even if I drop them on the right side. I really don't understand the game's mechanics right here. Um, if you didn't drop that, that was a pretty good counterattack. What, what's that? The giant skeleton. If you didn't drop that, I definitely would have been able to take out the building. Or if you didn't even have that, I really think I would have been able to take it out no matter what else he would have dropped. Um, but yeah, that was a perfect, perfectly placed giant skeleton, and he does that throughout this, um, uh, battle, which is pretty annoying. I love this rush, the hog, dark prince, and prince rush. It's such an awesome rush, and you think it's gonna do a lot of damage, but almost every time it does no damage. Right there, he throws the... I, I cannot, sorry, I haven't played this game in a little bit, and I cannot remember the names, but um, the barrel goblins he threw, and they really aren't that effective, because um, I have pretty good troops to counter uh, uh, barrel goblins. See, I'm having trouble remembering what I'm supposed to say, so right there, he kind of misses with the mortar, and thankfully I'm able to take out his left building without much hassle. This guy is actually using a goblin, so whenever someone has a goblin, and they don't have elixir collectors, which I don't think this guy has. He drops it right there, and um, I thought I was going to be able to take out this guy's building since he would have, like, once you drop that go or that golem, you really don't have any elixir, and somehow he was able to drop the cannon and then his goblins, and I, he, I was surprised that I didn't do more damage to his building. I only got around half of it down, and he got almost all of my building down. So that was pretty surprising. But right there, um, I did the Prince, Dark Prince, and Spear Goblin Rush, and he dropped a dragon for a counter, which wasn't the best. He took out my building, but I also took out his. Right there, I threw those... Um, I didn't know if I should throw him, but the um, arrows I threw just to do a little bit of damage to his building. So I guess it kind of worked out for me. I knew I wasn't going to go for the three crown. I just wanted to get that two crown and try to pull out a win. Because, you know, that's what you guys probably like to see with me winning. Um, the only thing that's kind of bad about this battle deck, I only have one air troop. And I guess spear goblins can kind of take out air troops. But, um, yeah, it's kind of not the best because when he drops that... Um, baby dragon, it's gonna do a lot of damage if my only counterattack is the spear goblin. Right here he drops the two wizards, and I I was surprised his two wizards were able to take out my barbs. I thought they were gonna take him out. But right here he drops that um, golem. He goes on a rush, and I go on a rush. He tries to counter it, but I knew it was gonna be too late. I throw those arrows just to secure the win with my hog rider. 
um, leading the pack. This is actually going to be my last battle for today. I know this video is a little bit shorter, but I actually did record two videos for today. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that. I will try to upload a, um, maybe one to two, maybe even three um, Clash Royale videos per day. I mean, I really don't know how consistent I will be if you're subscribed to me if you've watched any sort of videos from me you guys know I'm not con consistent so yeah you can't really expect much from me but um he did a lot of damage to my right side building I thought he was going to take it out but he didn't and I took out his um, left side building so basically I'm going to try to play some defense not let him do too much damage to my right side building and I know he's going to be able to take it out but I'm just going to try to um, procrastinate him from being able to take out my building so right here I do try to play some defense and I basically my thought is I just want him to waste four elixir on that fireball when he's gonna try to take out my um, building so then I can go on a little rush and maybe maybe take out his building so right here he does waste four elixir so I go on the dark prince hog rider um, um, prince rush and it really wasn't effective because he dropped those defenses Ah, I mean, wow. Look how far my troops really went just to get that Inferno Tower to get fried and really do nothing. Um, right here, I did go on a pretty successful rush and I was able to take out his building. No, I wasn't. But then I go on the Dark Prince, Spear Goblin Rush, and I'm able to take out his building before he can take out mine. So guys, really, thanks for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.